Hello everyone, welcome back to day 3 act 3 of Fabulous Fungus Frenzy. We got again. Each day we got new one. Which is, for you guys, probably I'm going to post this tomorrow. Which is, tomorrow is going to be act 4 or something like that. But yeah, this is act 3. Dual mission, progress and prop. We are facing Sokka, I believe, which is Yamiko is, I don't know, friend or not. But you know, the person that come here to create a novel. And then we are ready to beat. Also, last time we got some conflict between somebody that teaches us about this whole system. And we are going to see what actually happened. We are Act 3 Fabulous Fungus Frenzy Dual Mission. Today's the round of 32 for the new Apollo Cup! We're up against Soka this time. We gotta give it our all and then some! Come on, let's head to the arena! Okay, Paimon is hyped than me. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. We just need to go here and start a arena yeah last time they show us the arena and everything i'm guessing this time you just jumps right into it yeah again i'm going to do the main story first and then start unlocking the it seems like that one is is it is it anyone and also par yeah it's anyone and par also what is this symbol fucking can torrent a special training completing course course fixed lineup oh you cannot remove it wait there's that kind of stuff that's not fair Alright, but yeah, this is what I'm going to do after a... Uh, I know I'm supposed to do the event first and then this, but let's do this first and then the event. Mm, my opposing lineup is a buffer. Okay, I'm going to use not this and also, again, my favorite one. Don't think we need a buffer. So let's go with this. Also, we're fighting Sokka. This should be easy. Let's go, 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 go. Let's see, let's, let's see. This should be easy, this should be easy. I hope. Sokka, are you ready to face me? Because I'm pretty sure Sokka is going to be a little bit shy. Please don't run away. Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. Well, it's... I have to wait 24 hours, but sure. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes... I can't allow you to beat me. Oh, that... Now I don't want to beat you. Bring it on! Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. Thanks to Yaimiko. Yaimiko, last time Yaimiko said, defeat is also another thing that Soka needs to learn. So it's like, oh no. We are go smash slam. Oh, it didn't knock them. All right. But yeah, this is easy. Uh, I, oh, I literally Soka, got... Use your ultimate I'm going to bring any water. Too strong. I'm so sorry, Soka, but yeah, yeah, your your novelist thingy, Mobile Magic, and t today and here, man. At least you're not that, you know, like our first one. Because our first enemy is like, oh, beat you easy, it's like not, not even close. Oh, but this was pretty tanky. Yeah. Also, yeah, there, there's nobody that can use water. Oh, Bongo Head can use. Wait, no, Bongo Head cannot use water blast, I think. Can it? No idea. Does that? Yeah, probably not super effective, but that's still a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. We will win this movie. It's easy. I can't believe it. I lost. That's it. It's. It, uh... This is why I don't want to beat you. It's okay. You, you don't have to win. You, you can just start writing about the feeling of losing and climbing back up. It seems that the guests of Tenshukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. What? Oh no. Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to hook back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. No, Yamiko is not going to be mad at us. It's just, it's just I'm, I'm more feeling empathy towards Sokka now. Oh, Paimon's freaking out. Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head, put on your best guilty face. <laughs> what? Wait, you you should put an innocent face. No, why? Oh, come on! 
Also, I believe Yamiko will say, why did you apologize? Something like that. No way Yamiko mad at us. Miko, we're sorry! It was all Bongo Head! We didn't know it would take Soka out so quickly! Paimon, I am the best tamer here. I shall be the one who is responsible. Which means you didn't do anything. Oh, did she look crestfallen? And say something melodramatic like, Beyond the reach of mere mortals? Then curl up on the ground and start wailing? <laughs> okay, she know. Wow, yeah, that is exactly what happened. Yes, to all of those, actually. Oh, you know it really well, huh? It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. See, like I say, she can just turn that into something that can, that she can write down and I don't know what to say. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe, hmm? Oh, uh, uh, oh no. I have a villain. Oh no. But Pipeline free lots of the villain, so she's the bigger villain, yeah. Okay, take some breath. Are you okay? Oh, wow. Are, are you okay? Uh, did, did you fall asleep? Oh, you did. Okay, don't spend all of your stamina. Layla, take it easy. Don't go fainting on us. Well, I would love to carry you. You seem so light. But yeah, still don't faint. I'm alright. So, I wrote to the Amorta students, and they were really keen. I got a reply with the information I needed within just a few hours. Oh, that's fast. Wow. Okay. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twirly Whirly based on the information they gave me, but it didn't seem to like any of them. Hmm. Maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. Have you used the technique? Asking the person or creature in hand, what does they like? So, then I made a new, improved list, and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah, I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. So, I'm a little out of breath today. Aww, just for our Bongo Head. Thank you, Layla. Also, please sleep. Little 9 p.m. How'd you get the results so soon? It was super quick! Lack of sleep explains the tiredness, but not the breathlessness. Can you stop using the nurseness? How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Uh-oh. Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kind of envious. Which means your twirly whirly can handle the physical job. Good job! But the opponents have gotten stronger too. So, the pressure is on. I gotta train with twirly whirly some more if I wanna have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is, I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. Can we just help her with that? Oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session, and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Oh, come on. <laughs> how about leave me with Layla buy it? Oh, how about you buy it? Or how about I and you? Really? Oh, sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often. We sure do. We love helping Guji Yae for sure. Because if we didn't. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Please don't turn us into scary evil bad guys. Yeah, they will write a bad thing about us. Don't worry, little Layla. 
They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much. Oh, you guys are the best. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? You guys hear it first. Layla called me the best. This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Ah, oh, thanks again. Okay, so first thing, Layla say all of the ingredients. Second thing, how long is the paper? Hey, it's our pleasure. You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. Also, yeah, I agree with Paimon for that one. But yeah, I thought they are going to show us the list, but never mind. As for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power-up materials. The flor floral jelly? You know something about it? Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel, The Secret Investigation. I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from? The Wisdom Orb? Oh, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, yeah. I'm curious about the flor Floral Jelly. It's like, what did they put? Did they put pollen? Did they put, yeah, just what inside? What did it use to part of our fungi? Drum bodies, actually, sounds better. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Uh, this is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Also, Yaimiko is super interesting. Yaimiko literally can guess and know everything. So it's literally that type exactly. So we're going to wait until then. Okay. Should we really take Miko's suggestion? Well, it's literally what we signed up for. For the sake of harmonious coexistence with our shroom buddies, Bungo Head. Which is also Bungo Head not gonna lie, my favorite. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's wait until early tomorrow morning and go check out the fungi power up place. Yeah. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. And we want to make sure we give you a good food. We don't want you to start exploding every now and then. Layla's list of orders. Can I read that? Yeah, but it's pretty long. Alright, let's start reading. Layla's list of orders. This is the list of containing the items Layla ordered from the Almighty Merchant. The cooking ingredients the Layla was looking to purchase are written down here. The list mentioned the dress where she first met up with the Almighty Merchant and the names of items that Layla was sold. Sold? Special mention is made of Layla's purchase on an item that has never been found anywhere in the Grand Bazaar. As if to prevent the other party from forgetting Layla's identity, but for some reason, the meeting address was not in Sumeru City, but instead on a road outside the city. What? Okay, this Almighty Merchant character seems most adept at scheduling to have assembly last order while still transporting their goods. Why is the chance this is the guy that always gives us Primal Gem? I forgot who is his name, but you know, the, 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 the purple outfit dude with some pretty unique hair. And got a big bag on, you know, he carry around, something like that. Do I remember? No, just me. It's time! Let's head towards the fungi power up place! It should be totally deserted. After we're done investigating, we can go buy all those ingredients from the almighty merchant Leela mentioned. Then we'll come back and compete in the next round! Okay, I hope you didn't cut me on that. <laughs> I'm guessing they are going to cut us there, but we'll see. So, floral jelly is actually empty. Nobody here. This all looks like regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. But even if they add some special ingredients, I just bite my tongue. Most contestants won't suspect a thing. Hmm. Well, it's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the core of Dirty! 
first of all, it's not stealing. It's just borrowing without permission. Second of all, we got a hidden on our side. Maybe I'm not too sure should we rely that actually he vouch for us. Third, scopes of 30, that's not a thing. I'll hate him. We got actually sign up sign sign off might not be with us because sign off for justice. We got Al Hada, we got Nahida, we got Yes. Oh, but we do have a camera. Also, I forgot about this. We take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe. At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. I forgot I to say, yeah, we also got camera. Let's take a picture instead. I entirely forgot to mention that. That's the first thing that pops out when uh, Pama say we are not allowed to steal. <laughs> uh, how do take photo of the evidence? Bruh. <laughs> it's uh, I about to say it's empty, but it's not empty. Here you go. You locate the floral jelly and recipe and take photos of evidence. Done. We should ask an expert to analyze these photos, but. We're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go by Layla's stuff first. Uh. Uh, Hania? Also, wait, how come just taking a picture took like, wait, 3 a.m. we come here, right? 7 a.m. is where we buy the merchant stuff. How come taking a picture take more than two hours? You hold yourselves to pretty high standards coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. No, we just start doing it today. Hania, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. And absurd. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. All right, NPC number 1015. I'm going to defeat you now. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. Either way, we don't need to care about Hania. Let's go, we're sure on time. We need to buy this, and also it's for Bongo Head. The only way we can persuade her is to do it her way. Defeating her. Alright, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope. What is this? Taking a picture from mirror and somebody taking a picture of a person that's taking a picture from mirror? <laughs> okay, that is sus. Okay, so something must be happening right now. They are actually they are actually guarding us, making sure that we didn't do anything wrong. They are hiding something. Okay. Is this the merchant I've been expecting or this is entirely different person? Entirely different, I see. Layla's note said that this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Imagine it, she was Dory. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant. Yes? Welcome, welcome. I can't believe I just jinx it. I can't believe I just guess it. Yeah, how did you know? Paimon. Wait, Dory? <sighs> So you're the almighty merchant Layla mentioned? Why so surprised? Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. Talking about license, do you got any license? I'm pretty sure you don't have any license. <laughs> you talk about license. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. I already know. 
Yeah, 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 whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? No, she ran out of energy and about to faint. Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. Paimon, it's not that... It's, Layla is not enjoying, okay. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things for me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but there was still a lot of mora for a student. Wait, so did, wait, Dory, you didn't try to scam Layla, right? So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Oh, so you also know something about what's going on. Do you have any intel? I have to pay you more. There is indeed a marketing master. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. They're also taking up space. So I think I'll just give them to you. For free? Ah, Dory is my favorite. No, no, he knows I'll be the best. Also, uh, talking about that, does that mean this is the ingredients from floral jelly? Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. It might be useful, let's read. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. Oh? Wait, how did you find this then? But they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. If you want to destroy something, by the way, don't throw it into water. <laughs> First, we'll pollute the ocean. Second, it's not good for the fishy. Third, why will you do that? Also, yeah, just burn it. How about that? Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Okay, we're going to learn about something. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. <laughs> yeah, it's fishy because some people fish the paper and parts of the, the water. Anyway, I think we can safely assume that. There's something suspicious about co co to ye Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But... Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. It's alright. Even though we turned our thing off, Bongo Head's still our friend unless... It actually didn't work like that. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. I only got one out of three of that mora, by the way. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Are you kidding me? <gasps> Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Aw, thank you. Also, talking about that, yeah, last time also Sino is actually investigating about this as well. Say, so, it seems like a lot of people are aware. Either way, we're going to find out what actually happened. But yeah, let's see. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stocking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That'd make everything easier. That's a relief. Paimon thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. Okay, here's Layla's order release. Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? I have no idea, but Layla just write to Layla's people and got the answer. I don't know. But yeah, thank you for reading the, the list out loud. Now we know. Are we going to end it? <laughs> about all this, but we don't have much time. Let's continue with the competition. If Kaltilia really is plotting something, we'll expose him in front of everyone during the ultimate trial. Yep. Also, yeah, Sally seems like there's 
they are actually up to something also they are actually monitoring us at the same time okay let's see first wedding in the competition let's see who are we beating next Bur B baron bigfoot it sounds close to baron bunny oh wait can i see the leader leaderboard i can okay number three this time is there anything new about us there are actually something new mm, but i'm not going to read it at all so now we are close to one two three this is the third battle we got like two more i really hope tomorrow we didn't face leila or yeah Miko. but at the same time leila only fight until the fourth one i think or fight until you know you can bring bongo head home or your fungi home something like that i don't know let's just start with I'm going to beat you easily. Also, yeah, I know I have to do the event, but that's out of the window. Do the same tactic, because I like it. Oh, wait, I don't think... Wait, does it stagger? Does the Geo actually stagger the enemy? Hmm, who knows? Let's see. Ugh. <laughs> 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 uh. I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. <laughs> Best joke of the day. This story just, or this game just start, or no. Fabulous Fungus friends, you have been going on for three days. This person talking about years. Yeah, I like this story. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all cryo fungi team. And you got a big BS. Pull, shrimp. And then this is easy. Smack. And then let's use the beam. Oh, wait. Is the cryo assassin? Can I just notice the cryo assassin li literally immediately behind? Oh, wow. Now that they got killer, Please this is actually gusto, a little bit wow. Ga Gasto, Frosto. Where did you get a gust? Also, that's a nice thing. Ah, oh, that was hard. Okay, let's take this one. Alright, either way, it doesn't seem like any healer, so we're good so far. Uh, aim at the healer first. I forgot, yeah, we need to aim at the healer first. Take him down. Nice, healer down. Yeah, I forgot. Everything but this kind of stuff, always aim at the healer first. Because that's the most troublesome one. Also, I'm so sorry for this one. Have to be loud. Uh, I think aim here and then use this and double hit. I think that's double hit. I don't know. Either way, let's smack him. Let's go. There you go. Stagger up. Don't do anything nice. Nice. Do we need heal? I don't think we need heal. Also, oh, Bongo Head is fixed to our party because Bongo Head is like Pikachu to our action. Anyway. So yeah, we, we have to keep bringing Bongo Head. Bongo Head is the protagonist oh, here. Couldn't melt a snowflake with that. Bro, your fungi is dying. Your shroom buddies is dead. What do you mean that's all I got? <laughs> I just mapped it. Impossible! My team has been defeated? It's more like one minute training than one year, by the way. I didn't even heal. That was a hard one battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bongo Head. Good job, Bongo Head. I like the Bongo Head. Alright, let's leave the arena. Traveler Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats. I'm still so scared that I will fight you. I don't want to fight Layla. Well today, and Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. I really hope when she meant by a hair, she literally means so close. Not, you know, by entire hair. <laughs> also. The Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. 
I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Okay, okay, so the goods have been delivered, and yeah, take some rest, Layla. Hmm, my stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. You want me to carry you home? I kind of can do that. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miko go? I'm guessing Miko found something. Mm, she left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of Thirty. Oh, I see. So, cut, cut the, so something. The Fabulous Fun Guy's Frenzy organizer say something then and make Yaimiko in trouble. I see, but it's alright. Yaimiko is Kitsune and scary. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Maybe she has work to do. It gets busy at the Yai Publishing House after all. Oh well, yeah, sadly, now that we found some clues and Yaimiko is the rightest person to ask, uh, it seems like Yaimiko and Sokal really go back to Inazuma. Could be. Miko has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. Also, I, have a, I have a feeling the one that got the parts and everything is Yaimiko, but maybe not. Who knows? Also, it seems like Yaimiko she know about this. The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best. Yeah, what they lie is Amy right now is just... Go... Is it beating quarterfinals or just go to quarterfinals? Either way, I hope Leila go through there because Leila deserve it. Also, it's a cute mushroom. Yeah! <sighs> We've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Leila. Oh, wait, also what happened to Yaimiko's enemy then? Either way, we mustn't let our guard down either. We need to strike a balance between completing and investigating. Right, we have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. Also, don't took it here. And then with that then, there you go, dual mission, progress and props is done. With that then, uh, close for Yaimiko. I hope, yeah, the next one Yaimiko will be here because Yaimiko might found something for that, who knows. Well, that then, mission complete. Take yourself to home.